Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to do some effects with some text. Well, I've got some textures here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just create my text. So I'll just click and text. I'm using f this font, Back to the Future 2002. You can find it in dafont.com. That is dafont.com free of charge and it's very good okay then so oops so I've got my text what I want to do is I want to clip into this texture but not as a clipping mask so what I'm going to do is very very simple I'm just going to control on the thumbnail I'm holding control as you can see the hand moves and this will create a selection on my text so I'll just take it away and I'm going into this um, this texture so very simple I'll just click layer mask so I've added the layer mask I'm going to undo so here on the bottom add a layer mask with that layer selected and there we go we can move if we select the texture itself we can move as we like but what I want to do is very very simple I'm going to select the layer mask and I'm going to use one tool that not a lot of people use or and a lot of people they'll know it's there and if people know it's there what can I do with it and that is the smudge tool so I'm going to select the smudge tool I've selected this brush in here I don't know if you can see it I'm just going to to show you so this is the brush and you can see this is the smudge the smudge basically just move pixels like so so in a way you kind of transforming or liquefying slightly this texture not in a very good way no. but I think you get the idea so I'm going back to my text layer and obviously select the mask what I'm going to do now is just check my brush panel and see the spacing I'm going to just give it a bit of spacing tiny bit and I'm just going to click this end in in the left of the text and I'm going back to the end of the text I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to click once and I'm going back to the to the left but now middle of the text click on the other side roughly on the middle as well hold shift and click once again and I'm going to do that on the bottom so I clicked once click and hold on shift and there you go I'm going to show you what I've done this is what I've done so as you can see the smudge tool just brought some some of the black pixels into the white the white is the text in this case and just created this nice effect well you can go a bit crazier with this you can go like so you can change other brushes let me see whatever mm. I'm going this one I'm going just to resize it a bit I could have used and look because I didn't set up the spacing might be a bit funky like so but let's see how it looks now mm. very cool let's add a drop shadow yes you can add the drop shadow with layer mask selected so I'm going to layer mask I'm going to increase the distance obviously turn off the global light spread will be too much a bit too much too much too much about seven increase a bit the size as well and looks quite cool and different well because I've done 
what you guys saw because I went too far with smash tool I'm going to do another one so I'll just with hold, holding control on the thumbnail it will select the text I'm going to hide the text I'm going to select metal 2 in this case add a layer mask and we've got the text so I'm going as I said we can use different brushes uh, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to change it so I've got the spacing on 5 I don't want any spacing I'm going to check, take off the scattering transfer and smoothing so I can see what I'm doing and now the spacing I can give it a, just a hair yeah looks cool I think let's try this yeah I'm going to undo and I'm going to click and hold on alt and select the um, layer mask so we can see what we're doing so now I can do a bit like so so you can do lots and lots of things and as you can see you can use other tools and other filters in in layer masks so just going like so to give you guys an idea I'm not going to be fussy I find it to have an even even texture if you'd like um, I'm just going to delete delete I'm just so I'll show you another thing to to get an even even effect that's why I mentioned to use the shift because what the shift does uh, if you click I'm going to click once in here and uh, before I click in there if I hold shift it will create a line see it's not the right brush because I didn't set it up but uh, well we can always go and turn everything off let's see so if you see a brush we don't like the effect you just go here as you can see over here and it will load the brush panel or you go into window and load the brush panel and uh, just untick everything and then you can change the space you can do a lot of things I can do a tutorial only about that but as you can see I'm clicking and uh, it's like a sort of even text effect it's not too crazy it's quite subtle I'm going to click on thumbnail so text is visible with the layer mask selected I can add drop shadow like so bit of bevel uh, bit of inner shadow just touch even an outer glow if you like so there you go I hope you liked it see you next time bye for now